I got another quick little workout for y'all. This time we're not going to be stationary. The last time, last week, we were stationary. We weren't moving. Now we're going to get to a nice little rhythm dribble. That's going to be perfect to set you up for shooting the ball off of it or getting past your defender for a layup or getting the ball to your teammate for them to score. So with dribbling, you always want to be in a nice rhythm. Kyrie, Steph Curry, any good dribbler, they have a good rhythm to the dribble and that's why they're hard to guard. So they can get the shot off, they can create, or they can create for other people off the dribble. So if you want to be a really good basketball player, find out how to find your rhythm. Some people are faster, some people are slower. You have Luca Pace, a little slower, and then you have a guy like Kyrie, who's really fast. So everybody has a different rhythm. All right, so we're gonna work on between the legs, crossover, and behind the back first. Our basic moves, we're doing 20 reps each. If you have cones, you could put them out, or shoes, anything like that. But you're trying to get out to the object that you have. You're trying to create space, so between the legs is first. You're skipping. You don't want your feet to cross, it's a skip. See, so right here, you skip. And you're trying to create space. 20. All right, so 20 of those. So one, two, Get it down easy, speed it up. Twenty. So you see I can speed it up once I get it down. If you get your footwork down and you got it, speed it up. If you need to slow it down a little bit to get that footwork, remember, we're not skipping. Well we are skipping, but we're not crossing our feet. It's a skip. Right here. Don't cross your feet. That might make you fall right now. That's a more advanced move. Right now we're keeping it simple. All right, so now we're to behind the back. Same thing, 20. Behind the back. Don't cross your feet. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Stay low. Damn. This will get you in shape too. So you're staying down low. The basketball is a low game. You want to be lower because that makes the defender have to get low. Nobody likes to get low and play defense. So you already have an upper hand on them. Just by being lower, you get more explosion to your layups, your shots, everything. Makes you a lot faster. All right, crossover, 20. Easy crossover, step out. Skip across. Four. Five. Stay low. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Move that ball. Ten. Twelve. Twelve. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. You keep that head up. So you want to be able to see who you can pass the ball up to. Don't worry about the person in front of you. First defender should be able to get past them so you can create for others and try to score. Head has to be up. You can look down a little bit, see where the ball's at, and then look up. All right, we're going to do those one more time. One more time. So between the legs, 20. We're just doing two sets. It's quick. So you can do this twice a day, three times a day, every day. All right? Between the legs, 20. I'm going to speed it up a little bit. On the back, same thing. I'm going straight into it. This is how you get in shape. Really try to create some space. Try to get away. <laughs> Alright. 
Last one, crossover. Like I said, I'm just knocking it out for the video. And I like to take little breaks so I can get in shape. If you're not in shape, it's a great way to do cardio. Dribbling that ball and hopping straight into it after like 30 seconds to a minute. All right, cross off. Remember, I'm stepping out and then I'm skipping. Now crossing my feet. Four, five, six. Put that ball out. Have your opposite hand up. All right. I think that was 20. I'm talking and counting, so you know you're doing 20. All right, so it's just two rounds. See how quick that is, it's easy. Like I said, you could do this multiple times a day, or if it's easy, do three sets of each. Four or five sets, whatever you need to get you better. But this is how you get better. Not just going out and just doing stuff. Really do a drill and have a goal. All right. So now we have between the legs crossover, between the legs behind the back, and a double cross. You see, I'm tired and I think I'm in our right shape. So it's a real workout. All right, so on the combo moves, we're gonna do two different moves. So you have a between the legs and a crossover. Once you get here, you have to switch the ball over to the opposite hand so you can get to the opposite side and then you'll just keep doing that all right so between the legs skip a crossover skip right here you're kind of stationary it's basically like a little setup and then you're getting to the other side skip skip all right between the legs crossover is your move 20 20 total so 10 both sides all right one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Head up. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Speed it up if you can. one set it's a lot of legs a lot of movement so this will get your legs strong get that muscle endurance to where your body getting used to that movement so when you're in a game if you're doing something you might just do that move they step up blow past them you might do the move they step back you shoot it so it's getting the rhythm so you can read the defender all right now we have between the legs behind the back. Same thing. When you're between the legs, you skip. You're behind the back, skip. You gotta set it up. Opposite side, skip, skip, set it up. All right, 20. Two sets of these, two. All right. One, two, three. Four, five, head up. You lose the ball, it's all good. Seven, eight, nine. Remember, you're trying to get to the shoe or to the cone. Ten, ten more. Eleven, stay low. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Don't let my feet cross. Fifteen. 17, ah. 18, 19, 20. All right. And when you're doing this, you should be getting tired. If you're not tired, either go faster, get lower, or do another set. So you should be sweating, you should be tired. All right. And then last combo move, and we'll do those one more time. And that's it for the workout. Double crossover. 
kind of going to look like the same move. You can go hang, hang, drop it. That's where you kind of change up your your rhythm, your speed. You kind of slow down here, and then this is more fast. A double cross, switch it. So then we're chopping up the move. All right, not making it look like you're just doing a whole bunch of crossovers. Chop it up. All right, so I'll show you. You got 20. All right, so here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. See how I'm kind of changing it up? I could change it up like this. Or I can go fast. So that's the whole point of this. Be able to get your rhythm. We're going to go with 12. 13, 14, 15, uh, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, and remember that footwork. That's a huge thing with the rhythm is your footwork. All right, like I said, we're not crossing our feet. I know that's a move too, where you could do a crossover or something, and you could step over, but we're not stepping over. So work on being squared up. And that means if the goal was right here in front of me where the camera is, I'd be able to shoot off my move. If my feet are like this, then I wouldn't be able to shoot it. So you want to be squared up. So your moves are here, so then you can shoot the ball. All right? Last round, those three combo moves one more time, and then you're done. Quick workout, like I said, do this at least once a day, and you'll get your rhythm, your footwork, and your handle down. If you're young right now, nine, 10 years old, if you do, if you do this for like a year or two, your handle's gonna be way better than most people. If you're in high school or something like that, your handle should already be good to where this is gonna help you with your pace and your rhythm to where you can get past defenders better and score, have a better rhythm in the game. All right, I'm gonna knock these out. I'm not gonna talk so talk too much, all right? I'm gonna knock these out. All right, between the legs, cross, 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ah, uh, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. See how I messed up? I'm going fast. That's in game speed. Somebody's guarding you hard, close game. Got to be able to handle that ball while you're tired too and still be able to go fast or whatever pace you're going at. All right, between the legs behind. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, uh, uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, uh, 18, 16. I think that was 19 to 20. I'm tired, y'all. All right. Last one is a double cross. Double crossover, like I said, it's gonna look like three crossovers because you're doing double cross and then you're setting it up with a crossover. So change up the pace. And you should be like this, tired. I haven't got any water or anything like that. Quick workout, knock it out if you can. 
If you can't, work your way up to where you can. All right, last one. Last one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stay low. Look up. Fourteen. Fifteen. All the way through the last round. Last rep. And that's it. Rhythm dribbling. Like I said, you want to be able to have a rhythm of your game. Go look up any basketball player and they all play a little different. Steph Curry doesn't play the same as Kyrie. Kyrie does this doesn't play the same as Anthony Edwards. Anthony Edwards' rhythm and pace is a lot different from LeBron James. And LeBron James' game is a lot different from Anthony Davis. There's different styles for different bodies, heights, speed, all that stuff. So when you're working out, you don't have to look like me, but you have to be going as hard as you can and what your body is able to do. So then you know your rhythm and your pace because everybody's not the same. So remember that, just get in the gym, work hard, set it up, have a goal, 20 reps, two rounds of all six of those moves. If it's too easy and you wanna do some more, do some more or do it into some layups or some free throws. I mean, not free throws, see I'm tired. Into some three pointers, mid range, all those different things. So that's how you work on your game. I hope y'all enjoyed this uh, workout. If you like it, like, subscribe, or comment a workout or something you want me to work on, and I'll do a video for you. All right, peace.